Resolving power of a microscope. Consider two objects A and B lying very close to each other and observed through a simple microscope. Let lambda be the wavelength of light used to observe the objects. The objects form diffraction images A dash and B dash as shown in the figure. If D is the least distance between the points A and B for which the images A dash and B dash are just resolved, then it can be proved that D is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by 2 sin beta. Here, lambda is the wavelength of the light and beta is the semi-vertical angle of the cone in which rays of light from an object enter the objective of the microscope. This minimum distance d between the objects A and B for which the images A dash and B dash appear just resolved is called limit of resolution. The resolving power of the microscope is numerically measured as the reciprocal of the limit of resolution. Therefore, resolving power is equal to 1 by d which is equal to 2 sin beta divided by 1.22 lambda. From this expression, we can say that the resolving power of a microscope will be greater when the limit of resolution is smaller and resolving power will be lower when the limit of resolution is larger. Now, if the air medium between the object and objective is replaced by a medium of refractive index n, then the resolving power of the microscope will be equal to 1 by d is equal to 2n sin beta divided by 1.22 lambda. Overall, we can say that the resolving power of the microscope increases with increase in the value of refractive index n. This is the reason why oil immersion microscopes are used to achieve high resolving power. Again, since resolving power is varying inversely with the wavelength lambda, we can say that the light of lower wavelength can have higher resolving power. Since wavelength of ultraviolet light is less than the visible light, ultraviolet lights are used to achieve high resolving power. The microscopes that use ultraviolet light are called ultramicroscopes. To achieve still higher resolving power, a beam of fast moving electrons are used. At very high speeds, the beam of electrons will behave as waves of very short wavelengths. The microscopes that use high speed electrons are called electron microscopes. Resolving power of a telescope when two distant objects A and B are observed with the help of a telescope, the rays from these objects pass through the lens making an angle alpha at the lens. The rays undergo diffraction and produce image on the screen. The minimum angle alpha made by the objects A and B on the objective for which the images A dash and B dash are just resolved is known as limit of resolution of the telescope. For a telescope, limit of resolution alpha is given by alpha is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by D. Here D is the diameter of the objective lens. The resolving power of the telescope is numerically equal to the reciprocal of the limit of resolution. Therefore, the resolving power of the telescope is given by 1 by alpha is equal to D divided by 1.22 lambda.